Hello, welcome back. Freddy in the shed, Freddy in the attic. And just a quick video. I just want to follow up on some of the, the comments and questions that I've had on the previous video where when I strapped the T2LT in the attic. And as you can see here, this is what I've been doing this week. We've been testing this twin mobile whip antenna. And I believe these are called modulators. Thank you for everybody that uh, left a comment saying that these are Thunderpole modulators or they're probably just copies of the original modulator whips. And yeah, this is what I've been doing. <laughs> you can see that video will be coming up um, probably at the weekend. But uh, yeah, you can see it's just sort of hanging there vertically uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the attic there. I've been uh, using that doing some sort of testing. And another thing that's come up on the comments quite a few times, so I'm just going to run through it. We've got this silver insulation here in the loft. It's actually twin ply, it's twin thickness. This, this kind of little cocoon section is sort of what I've built to, uh, when I had the radio desk up here, just sort of make it bearable in the, in the winter. Because this is a modern loft and it's uh, ventilated all around the uh, sort of perimeter of the fascia balls where your guttering is. So you get sort of uh, quite a gout that blows through the loft, which is good because it keeps everything nice and sort of dry and stops it all getting sort of, you know, mildewy and stuff like that. Like you get in some of the older sort of attics in houses. But of course, you know, the, uh, the downside of that is, is it gets very, very cold up here. So that's why we've put all of this insulation up, this sort of uh, bubble wrap. So, you know, why this sort of in insulation is good for me in the winter keeps me sort of uh, slightly warmer up in this sort of shack yeah that is it's the problem if it if it does have a real metallic kind of screening like a sort of a tin foil it would work just like a faraday cage and no radio signals would be able to penetrate the loft area um that might be good for rf for my equipment but obviously if i'm put, putting up an inside antenna that would be completely sort of use, useless. But for those of you that watch Fred in the Shed 2, I put up a video uh, last week. You'll notice that I showed you this sort of slinky little uh, antenna there that I've got that runs the whole length of the attic. And uh, that is just a shortwave antenna. That is not something I transmit on. That's purely for receiving. But that works over here on this uh, the Yaesu FRG8800. And if I switch that on... There you go. But that receives shortwave really, really well from uh, that slinky antenna that, of course, is right close to that sort of, you know, what is supposed maybe a metallic kind of insulation. So I don't think that metallic, I don't think that is metallic. I think it is, you know, it's just sort of a, uh, a sprayed or a sort of plastic kind of coating. And uh, yeah, for my tests that I've done this week, I really, uh, I don't think that it is metallic. But we're going to go a little bit uh, sort of more scientific, yeah, really, on Fred in the Shed. And I've got my sort of uh, multimeter there. So we're just going to do a continuity and an ohms test on it just to sort of see if there's any kind of metallic element to this sort of cheap foil um, at all. Because I say I don't think there is. So that's coming up uh, just now. So firstly, we've just sort of cut a section of this stuff off. And as you can see, it's just really sort of like bubble wrap with this sort of foil, sort of metallic, which looks like foil. I, I think it's just sort of printed on there, to be honest. I don't think there's anything sort of metallic in it. But I'm just going to sort of get the continuity tester here. Just give it a try. I'm digging straight into that. No, nothing. Nothing is coming back from that side. So, no continuity through it. I'm just going to run the uh, the ohm meter on it now as well, just to sort of see uh, if we can get any sort of reading on the ohm meter. Let's check that's working. Alright. Yeah, so there's absolutely nothing at all coming through on the ohm meter there. No, nothing at all. So as I suspected, yeah, this you know this is just a piece of plastic basically, which has been sort of printed with a kind of metallic paint, if you like. Um, I don't know if you if you buy the proper industrial insulation, it probably might be a sort of foil, you know, foil based sort of metallic sort of metal screening but this uh, yeah this is just just plastic <laughs> it's just sort of I think it just sort of this is just to reflect any sort of heat and it does work to be honest because if I've got a, a little convector heater that I used to have up here I've have up here up a little convector heater I used to have in up here and also a fan heater it does tend to reflect the sort of heat back but as I say not uh, not conductive 
in any way, shape or form. Nothing at all. So that shouldn't block any radio signals coming into the into the shack. And that is what I found with the testing I've been doing this week. And uh, you'll see that on the next video that will be up at the weekend. So there you go. I just, just thought I'd update that. Um, yeah, thank you for everybody that left comments on the T2LT sort of antenna. That's absolutely fantastic because it's great that you leave comments on the videos when I make them. But of course, I will leave these videos up on YouTube for a long time. I've got videos going back. Uh, eight possibly nine years now on the, on YouTube so you know in the future people sort of searching through for CB radio because CB radio is not going to go anywhere it's not as popular as it once was but of course it won't be going anywhere but uh, yeah it'll be great for people when they come along and they sort of you know watch the video and they flick through the comments like I've done on, on, on other videos myself and then they can sort of read all the information that you've left and hopefully that will uh, that will help them um, also on the comments, about, I think about three people now have said uh, with those modulator, those modulator whips, you know, why don't I go back to basics as it used to be? Why don't I just get a sort of a kind of uh, a biscuit tin like we used to have, yeah? And then stick the modulator on a biscuit tin, make some sort of ground plane. Oh my God, we <laughs> used to use, we used to go, i tell you what, I set a DV, a DV27, do you remember those antennas? They were very, very cheap. I set one of those up in a mate's loft once and uh, we went down and nicked all of his mum's tin foil, rolls of, we unrolled all of her tin foil and we laid it out across the loft to try and get the SW you are down try and get it below three so he wouldn't blow up his uh his little sort of uh what was it harvard good buddy radio <laughs> it was it was amazing but we did get the swr down and that's all you needed wasn't it in, in the early days you just needed a mag mount or a dv27 or a fire stick you know up in the loft and that would probably get you out less than what three miles two to three miles but those two to three miles you would get 20 possibly 25 breakers on cv wasn't it amazing if you was around in the day there were so many people there were three people down my road at my parents place that was on cb radio i could have opened the window and i could have called out and i probably heard them better sometimes than i could on cb but that's what it was like in the uh, i say in the early 80s cb radios were absolutely everywhere so people have asked me would i get one of those modulators when i finish with the dipole stick it on a biscuit tin and just stick it in a loft and see you see if i can get heard now you know in 2019 like we used to i don't mind doing that i I did think of it ages ago. I just, I did, it did cross my mind. Let me know in the comments. Would you like to see that? If you, if you, you know, it's a bit stupid, really. But if you'd like to see me with a modulator on a mag mount on a biscuit tin, I'll make the video. I'll give it a go and uh, see if I can get out on sideband. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy but there you go anyway that's the little foil test i just wanted to do um there's a lot of comments coming in about that and uh yeah great you know thank you very much for watching the videos as i say the the longer dipole sort of dipole uh, video will be up at the weekend we've done some good testing on that and got some quite surprising uh, results to be honest quite pleased with that but uh, anyway as for now just for this quick video uh yeah cheers Thanks for watching as usual. Thanks for the comments. Uh, thanks for sticking with Freddy in the shed. And of course, stay safe. Yeah, catch you all on the next one. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.